So, for people that don't know who I am, um, I'm an unsigned independent artist from the UK. Um, I write and perform and create a lot of country, rock, Americana style pop music, all my favourite genres really. My music career has definitely taken me on a roller coaster ride, of which I'm very grateful and thankful for that I'm still here. Um, trying to work my way through the craziness of the music industry, um, of which ends up being a bit of an, ad an addiction really, um, especially getting into it and performing from such a young age. I mean, I was 17 when I first started performing. Um, I was younger than that when I first started writing. And, and so, yeah, um, I'm extremely thankful to be sat here with some glorious memories of some great gigs and meeting some great people along the way so I'm really thankful for for that. I'd started to perform at such a young age um, I was playing in bars and pubs all around Europe when I was 18, 19, 20 years old with just my guitar which gave me a great grounding um, and some amazing experience you know. I still get nervous before gigs I probably get more nervous playing in front of people I know than, um, than playing in front of people that I don't know. And sometimes I get more nervous playing in front of a crowd of 20 than playing in front of a, a crowd of 200, 300. So gaining a lot of experience and a lot of gigs under your belt is a massive help when you want to be in this game for the long haul. Your Fire is the latest single that I've released. It came out on the 9th of February, of which I was really excited about this one. Um, I think this song, more than any of the others that I've released in the last six months, really does showcase the love of the country and guitar-led sound that, um, you know, that I've just embraced over the last 10 years. Um, I really am addicted to that country rock um, American sound um, and I feel like it's it's very quickly becoming a sound that I, I love and, and I want to continue to to showcase. Your Fire is a journey about rediscovery. It just tells the story of the roller coaster of love that you know over the years I'm sure we've all been through and experienced good and bad times of, of being in love and falling out of love. I think the song really explains um, the vulnerability behind, you know, opening yourself up again after potentially being hurt. We all learn a lot from love because it's full of emotion um, and it brings out the best in us, I truly believe that. I recorded the demo in my room, um, I put all that together and I try and get the song as close to being how I want it to sound in the studio as possible. We kept some of those tracks in and then we built around it and it literally took two days. Um, Matt played some extra guitars on it, I played all the rhythm guitars um, and then Tom laid down the bass and the drums and then we built up the, the harmonies behind the track of which I'd already got a great idea from the demo because I'd been, you know, trying to trialing things at home in my own spare time and, and that's how it just came together so quickly. They let me bring out my sound and then they wrap themselves around it a little bit if that makes sense um, and you know just put the cherry on cherry on the cake and it also showcases a more country side to me which I don't think people have perhaps seen before or seen much of since my debut album Dust Bowl Jukebox. I hope people in the UK in the UK country scene um, like the track uh, I certainly enjoyed making it and hopefully there's lots more country influenced tracks to come from me in the future. Um, I just want to thank anyone who's streamed this, the track so far and I hope that uh, I'll be able to play it in front of people at the Country to Country Festival coming up. I